everyone. So today I wanted to discuss the energy of the full moon coming up on the 20th of October. And um, so for people that don't know, um, they're going to, you're going to hear a toy pig in the background because my new puppy has a new toy. <laughs> so that being said, let's just tune into the messages that come through for us. Um, first thing that I get with the Aries energy is that we are shifting over into a new vibration and it feels really joyful. It feels really optimistic. If for people that have been following me and watching all of my videos on Instagram or YouTube, a lot of things I've been sharing is that we're changing, we're growing, we're evolving, but you might be a sensitive person. And if you are, you're going to want to latch on to healthy things, healthy people, that sort of thing. So I've been really working on my product line. Like right now I have crystals all around me. Um, I'm feeling drawn to these like little mini crystal bottles, which are super cute. And um, like there's pink, yellow, green, very like earthy and pretty uh, things popping up. And so that tells me that you might find that you want to tap into your feminine around this full moon. And so when we work with full moon energy, this is related to the Luna cycles. This is where we tap into intuition, emotional energy, maybe shadow work. And for people that don't know what shadow work is, shadow work is when we kind of start to work on um, areas of our life that we basically need to let go of. Um, it might be related to forgiveness work. It might be related to, as I was saying, about what we're latching onto. This might be a bad habit. This might be um, drug or alcohol abuse. This could be um, having a difficult time with your own anxieties, um, your fears, things like that. Okay. The other thing that comes up around this right away is I'm getting an energy around my nose. And um, the nose symbolizes um, stomach issues for certain people. So don't forget that when you're feeling really, really emotional, especially if you're a very sensitive empath, you're more likely around this time to feel things not just in your heart, but in your stomach as well. Because whenever there are um, emotional um, things coming up around relationships, you're going to feel that kind of in the chest and kind of in the stomach. So if your stomach's feeling upset, if you're feeling bloated, um, you might even be having some chest pain. I know that sounds weird, but this is all kind of related to things coming up and things kind of wanting to go out. So ask yourself how you're releasing energy around this time. Are you doing breath work? Are you doing meditation? Are you writing things down? Are you sorting out things through your dreams? And because dreams can really help us release things that are um, bothering us, dreams can help us understand what it is that we need to know in order to move forward. And I call them blessings. And I don't know why this has been coming up for me. It's really becoming a thing. It's called, um, a, it's like a blessing and a lesson together. It's seeing that there's something coming through a situation that maybe we just don't yet understand. But to basically bring gratitude into the situation, trusting that when we move forward, it's going to make more sense. Okay. So if we go back into the drug and alcohol abuse um, and changes that way. What I'm getting is when we use spirituality and prayer, things like affirmations, as I've been discussing in the weekly reading, you might find that as we shift mentally what we're saying to and about ourselves will help us transition, okay? It will help us find balance. So the new moon that we had was teaching us balance as we come into this um, full moon where we are meant to have more faith. We are meant to be more energetic. We're meant to be more, um, I feel like saying buoyant or buoyant or something related to um, people who are happier and people who bring bright light into situations. Probably why I'm wearing my pink sweater today and, and why the light is kind of bouncing off of me. So we're shifting into a time where we want to find some more um, bounce in our step, okay? That's enthusiasm, that's excitement, that's encouragement. And this is our last week currently right now with Mercury retrograde. So by the time that full moon comes, we're actually ready to kind of start this new step. 
you might find that going back into the drug and alcohol abuse that your um, your mindset is just around um, like instead of the could have should have would have the regret mode it's more about mm, like I wonder if I choose to do this what will happen I want to explore that I want to experience that so I'm getting a lot of X words and keep in mind with full moons X's might be coming up um, you're an X this or you're an X that um, and you might find that you don't want to be associated with the past anymore. You don't want to be associated with past people, past frequencies, um, past moves that you've had in your life. And the reason why that feels like it's coming up is because we don't hate our past. We don't like hate people from our past. When we have truly healed something from the past, we're almost enthusiastic about that that happened to us. You know, what makes us who we are, that sort of thing. So if you look back at some of the full moon releases that you might have done already, you can probably sense how much you've grown emotionally. And if you're hopping on, feel free to say hello. Um, the full moon is going to be in about eight days. So this is still a bit away, but it's nice to get a little bit of insight as to what's going on. Okay. So if we look back to all of those amazing changes right now, you might find, wow, I've really gotten through a lot of difficult times. And even if it's not related to a full moon, just think about all of the heavy things that we've gone through in society already. You know, we're coming up, I'd say, to um, like a long time of, of COVID being in our life, whether it's coming in a first wave or a second wave um, or in a cluster, you can feel it. You can tell how energy is kind of coming in and then leaving, almost like an ocean wave, right? And just like the full moons, it's like COVID is doing the same thing to us. It's teaching us, hopefully through these lessons, that um, you can handle everything that comes at you. And if you feel like you can't, Again, that's a mental block that you might have. So I do sense around this full moon, work through any blocks that are coming up for you. And I would recommend doing it one step at a time every single day. And so if I'm coming on here early, maybe start doing that even today, whether it's setting an intention that I'm going to break free of any vicious cycles that are coming into my energy field that really don't belong to me. And that might be related to self-worth, okay? I did discuss a lot recently about affirmations in my videos, my card deck that I have around affirmations. So start bringing in that good energy now. And if you can uplift yourself and work through some of the things that you're experiencing, by the time this full moon comes, you're actually going to get really, really, really strong, powerful insights that are going to be helpful for you. It feels like years down the road, okay? So really great energy. I love it. Make sure you're doing that heart chakra work that's working with more greens, more pinks, uh, and absolutely do more grounding work around this time. That means getting out to na into nature, and um, maybe it's crystals for you, maybe it's herbs, however you want to uh, take advantage of this energy. I recommend doing that, okay? Uh, today's Tuesday, so I'm doing free shipping. <laughs> Um, I thought it was for one person, but I can actually do it for two people, which is great. So if you're interested, um, let me know and um, just keep spreading the love, guys. Enjoy. Bye for now.